Well, this is just telling us that the tight end room is really struggling with injuries and it's really thin at the moment. So they go. So the Indianapolis Colts go ahead and sign a veteran tight end in Ricky Seals Jones. First of all, I'd like to welcome you to the JW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. If you enjoy Colts content, NFL videos, Colts videos, all that stuff, make sure you like, subscribe, put that post on vacation bell on so you don't miss any future videos. I promise you will not regret it. We're building a great community, an empire. Become a part of something great. Get in now while it's early. So, Ricky Seals Jones coming to Indianapolis. I like the signing. I like Ricky Seals Jones. I know he hasn't really ever put up big numbers, but he's a reliable tight end. He's going to get you some catches. He's going to give you some nice blocks. He's a veteran. He's going to help teach these young guys while he's there. Now, will he probably be released after some, you know, some of these other tight ends like Jelani Woods get healthy? I hope so. But the Cardinals... I know Colin Granson's dealing with an injury. Uh, who else? Someone else is dealing with an injury. Not Will Mallory. I'm not sure about Molly Cox. I think he is dealing with an injury. So, tight room is very thin. But, <sighs> we've had to quite a few teams. Started his crew out in Arizona with the Cardinals. Went to the Browns. Went to the Chiefs. Played with the Washington Commanders last year. And I thought he spent some time with the Giants. But I didn't see it when I looked up his name and, you know, all the years he played. So, but I think he played for the Giants. I think he did. Like a very short stint. But that's off topic. The Indianapolis Colts get a really nice veteran piece at the tight end position. I tru I'm a big believer in having the right amount of veterans, the right amount of rookies and young players in every position. And Ricky Seals. And, you know, as if Molly Cox didn't provide that, he's a great character, great worker, great leader. But I think I think Ricky Seals Jones is gonna fill. It's more. It's probably more so the injury situation. You know, when are these guys gonna be back? You don't know. I think I I think they have like hamstrings, two of them, and hamstrings are tricky. Tricky. You never know. But Ricky Seals Jones is gonna fill in nicely. He's a nice two or three tight end, and I'm really happy that Ricky Seals is coming to Indianapolis. He's, you know, he's always been that player that mm, I like Ricky Seals. If he ever came to Indianapolis, I like him. You know, do you have players like that where you're like? Ah, oh, if you please come to Indianapolis, you're great. I love you. You're, you know, you're a great player, but you know, you just think in the back of your head, yeah, it's not going to happen. This is a little different. You know, this is something that, you know, it's more reasonable considering he's not a high price Miller team, but Buckner was on, was Buckner and Xavier Rhodes were both that kind of player for me. And we got both of them like in, like in the same year. I was so happy because I loved Xavier Rhodes and I loved the force Buckner and the Colts got both of them. Unfortunately, Xavier Rhodes is on a team no more, but Ricky Seals Jones signed by the Indianapolis Colts. A good signing. Don't forget the Indianapolis Colts also signed Tyler Huntley. Tyler Huntley. Jason Huntley. Right? Yeah, he yeah, he is from the Pittsburgh Steelers. He spent time with the Eagles, the Steelers. Uh has like 53 career rushing yards. He's been in the NFL for like three, two, three years. Uh he's 25 years old. So just shows that the John Taylor saga is not going good. And Kareem Hunt leaving Indy stinks but it is what it is the game goes on that's all i got for you guys from this video really a quick little video quick update on, R on ricky seals jones 1000 receiving yards 90 catches 10 receiving touchdowns throughout his career um not gonna bring a lot of numbers to the table not gonna be explosive but he's gonna do a lot of things right and he's gonna be very fundamentally sound and a great veteran for this team to, for this room to learn from so this is jw sports talk show i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to like subscribe put the post on vacation by line so you don't miss any future videos and here are the member shout outs for the video well member shout out i appreciate you marshman appreciate you always being here being a member and if you'd like to be featured on the screen get a shout out every single video a member is the way to go so thank you for tuning into the jw sports talk show this is all i got for you today see you later